Testosterone is essential for a man's health and well-being. It is considered a male sex hormone, but women produce testosterone, and it also plays vital roles in their reproductive and overall health. Testosterone goes beyond boosting your energy and sex drive. It helps your body maintain muscle mass and bone density and fosters the production of red blood cells. Testosterone production typically decreases as a man ages. As it starts declining, it can lead to a reduced sex drive, erectile difficulty, depressed mood, difficulty maintaining concentration, and poor memory. But did you know the food you eat could be speeding up this drop? What you eat can have a profound effect on the levels released in your bloodstream. So let's have a look at some common foods that use testosterone levels. 1. Soy products. Excessive intake or repeated daily dose of soy protein may lead to decreased testosterone-estrogen ratio due to its high content in phytoestrogen. Phytoestrogen means plant estrogen because it has an estrogen-like effect on the body. Estrogen is the female sex hormone. Not only does soy intake affect your hormonal balance, but it also disrupts the production of thyroid hormones. One of the leading causes of low testosterone in men is a suppressed activity of the thyroid. If you are thinking you aren't eating soy, think twice. One of the most common animal feeds is soy. This means that the soy used to feed the animal is still present in the meat when you consume it. Many processed foods also add soy as a food additive. If you eat anything that comes in a box or bag, you are eating soy and increasing your estrogen. Unfortunately, soy is also among the top three most common GMO, genetically modified organisms, crops in the US. We don't yet have enough data to verify the safety of GMOs on our bodies. Many studies are starting to show there is a reason to suspect harm, which is why most modern civilizations, except the US, have outlawed GMO crops. So stay away from soy altogether if possible, and if you do choose to go for it, then choose organic at the very least to avoid the GMOs. 2. Graham crackers and corn flakes. Guess what? You might be shocked. Years ago, somebody thought it would be a grand idea to create food as part of an anti-masturbation crusade. The purpose of these foods was to keep you full and not heat your body. There's no nutritional value in them. The intention was to make you feel sluggish and dull. Also, any refined carbs will spike insulin, which will reduce your T level. The carbs indirectly increase your estrogen levels and decrease your testosterone levels by making you fat and keeping you fat. Fat cells store estrogen and contain the enzyme aromatase, which converts testosterone into estrogen. Too much estrogen can be an issue. If you take a lot of supplements to increase your testosterone, or even if you take testosterone supplementation directly, you need to watch out for that. If you notice that your nipples are getting sensitive, or that even though you are using testosterone supplements, you aren't feeling better, then your body is probably not converting testosterone properly. So pay attention to the signs and avoid foods that increase aromatase. 3. Dairy with added hormones. For over 20 years, cows have been injected with bovine growth hormones, BGH. Those BGH increase milk production. However, when you drink that milk, it also has a detrimental effect on your hormonal balance. The long-term effect of prolonged exposure to growth hormones is still mostly unknown. However, many scientists outside of the milk industry say that repeated exposure can damage human health. In the early 2000s, Sato and Davasambu published an extensive study on cow milk. The results found that it contains a high quantity of estrogen and progesterone. So even without consuming the added BGH hormone, the milk you drink is already full of female sex hormones. And remember too, that yogurt, ice cream, cheese and butter are all made with and from milk and contain hormones. 4. Beer This one might come as an unhappy surprise. Have you ever heard of the beer belly joke? Well, the reason beer makes you fat in the belly is because it contains hops and hops is a phytoestrogen. Remember the plant estrogen that acts like estrogen in the body, which will hurt a man's hormonal balance. Alcohol in general decreases testosterone, but beer is one of the worst. And if you don't believe me, believe this study published by the NCBI, which states that alcohol consumption decreased testosterone by 23% for up to 16 hours. If you want to increase your testosterone, then decrease the beer, at least on any day you want to have sex. 
don't let those foods destroy your testosterone. If you remove these from your diet, it will help lower your estrogen and boost your testosterone levels. In doing so, you will feel younger again and reduce your belly fat. And if your testosterone levels start to go up, guess what? So will your sexual desire and erections. Knowledge is essential, but what you do with this knowledge is power. Take action today and remove these four foods from your diet. Your body will thank you for it and your sex life will get better every day. If you found this information helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content on optimizing your health and well-being.